last one, guys. Jesse Dapperdew's garage has another one. This is going to be a fresh motor install. Right there, nothing up there. So what? What I'm going to do to kick this one off? The first step, I'm going to take these plates off, pull the wiring out, splice them, get them ready to receive the new sensor wiring. Same thing on this side. Do that one. Take the plate off up here, pull the wires out, get them set up. Then the same thing over here to this plate. Take the plate off, slide the wires through, splice them. And then from there, take this unit out and start assembling it. This customer got a good one. Three quarter horse, battery backup, Wi-Fi with a drop down camera. That's incredible. That's a golden package right there. That's amazing. So yeah, that's the deal, fresh install. So let's strap this camera on and get started for the setup. Let's get my little splicer tool. First step is just about set up. These things are so long. You don't have to take both screws all the way out. Just a quick tip, take the top one out so you can rotate this. Leave that one still in so you can move it. Drop it down. Coil these wires, then all you do is curve it, feed it through. Be careful, be careful and don't break the plate. That's pretty much it. See when you leave it out there, you can poke this one through. Oh man, that goes all the way through. That's not good, somebody broke that one. had it for looks. I'm gonna go ahead and splice his wires. So see that's ready for the sensors. Do the same on this side. Stuff the excess back in there. Not too tight. Stuff some of this back in there. Splice the ends of these. Come on now. Come out a little bit more. So we've got those two ends spliced. Next thing, do the one on the ceiling.
is you'll normally let hang all the way down after you feed them through. It'll normally work fine, but just because this ends up being a pain sometimes, I just twist the tips a little bit so it's easier to feed it through. See, that way it's... They're all together. Sometimes it's a pain, or you can try to do one at a time. Sorry if the camera was jacked up. Anyway, what I was saying, in case the camera didn't get that, Instead of feeding these through like this, it's a pain, just twist the tips together like that. Then bend it a little bit and you can feed it right through. There we go. Get the other. Love those long screws, man, they're awesome. Make the job so much easier. See it now. One. Splice each of these three. And three down. That's it. Got the battery. Set that aside. Cool looking unit. As I'll take these out, I always just start separating them. Keeping all the stuff together. Part of the motor. Hardware packet. Use to the rail. Sensors. J arm. Go ahead and flip this thing over. It's gonna sit like that. Header brackets. Belt. J arm. Sensor hardware. Put the sensor stuff over here together. One remote though, that's crazy. Let's see, oh, there's, there's the second one. This should be pre programmed. Keypad, booklets. Let's over here together. Keypad out here by the door. Oh, he's gonna mount on this side. Keep that right there. Stop putting the hardware in here. Man, that's crazy. All right. These brackets kind of clip on the tracks like this. What you'll do is put a nut through here first. It fits like a puzzle. Sensor will come through this big hole right here. Put the screw or the nut through there. Apply the wing nut. Twist it and kind of eyeball it tight. That looks pretty straight, actually. Give it a good snug fit and you can adjust it later. I normally set it right below these two marks or right consistent with them. Just clip it on. Then the black stripe wire goes on the red. Splice. 
size. Twist the positives together. About five or six times is plenty. Clip the rough ends off because it'll poke through your tape, cause you problems. And guys, listen, this is simple, okay? But I see mistakes with this all the time, even by professionals. And this is basic. Wrap these independent. What I mean is put your tape on, or if you use a cap, that's fine. Wrap it a couple of times the first wire by itself like that. Then you can pull these two together, tape them. You wouldn't believe how many calls I get that are grounding out and having issues with the sensors because they were taped wrong. And just push this excess wire back through here. Just kind of keep it tucked in the corner there. Go repeat the same thing on the other side. should go relatively quick. Positive. Wrap that around there. Nice and snug. Next thing to do is get that motor ready to be mounted right there. So what we'll do first is put the header bracket on. That looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and shoot it. While I'm here, go ahead and shoot the bracket that connects the motor. Do the J-arms last. So the reason I go ahead and do that Put the header on then is because I can then pick the motor up. Put it, put it in there. That should stay. We gotta get it straight. Looks good. That usually should stay. and put the cotter pin in here so it'll hold. It's good. Cause then, then what you can do is raise the door with your hand, try to push up with this one. Rest the motor on the garage door while you build the mount. Here's a little tip. When you see these outlets 
you may know this if you're an electrician, but when you see these outlets running this way, they normally run these outlets parallel with the studs. So that tells me the studs should run either in the front or behind. So that'll let me know where I need to mount this. You can usually just hit with your knuckles. They got pretty solid. Still hollow. So yeah, need to mount it on the back side. It should be good. Go ahead and shoot the lag bolt. Line it up center. This should hit. Bingo. Next one should hit too. Yeah, from here it's basically just see what light, see what lights whatever up. So yeah, this is what's so good about having these pre-spliced. Now all we gotta do is go through and test. See which one lights up the wall button over there. Nothing. Fold that one up so you know you already messed with it. Test it. Nothing. Ain't gonna be the very last one.
that's it. Orange light's on, so that's the wall button. I'm gonna cut these down just a little bit. They're pretty long. So now we know the other two are for the safety sensors. Since we know this is a fresh install and we got the wiring right, we can go ahead and splice these reds together. You don't have to, but twist those together. But it's got a little gap to come through the top. So the wires are all neat and the door shuts properly. Do that, I keep hitting those buttons by accident, so. All right, there we go. So they're all in there good. Door shuts, get it plugged up. All right, next we'll get this J-arm put on. Take the little baby piece. Put a cotter pin. Roughly a 45 degree angle. Just tighten those. Tighten those down. That's it. All right, so about got everything done, got the J-arm put on. Just need to stick the battery in there and mount the keypad, then program it. And we're good to go. So these, pretty straightforward and simple. Red goes on red. Black on the black. I know it's dark. Make sure it clips on. It's in there. I'll go ahead and program the motor now. Let's see, bring it up. Go ahead and pull this. All right, so in case you guys missed it in other videos, we'll walk through this one too. So to program the motor, you hit the black button. It'll beep. Up arrow flashes, you toggle it where you want it. So it's pretty much set where I want it, so I'm gonna hit the black button. Now the down arrow flashes, I toggle the down until I'm happy where the motor's at. Keep holding it down until the motor gets where you want it. Nice and snug, but not too tight. Definitely no light showing. That's good. When you're happy with it, hit the black button. It'll start beeping and then it'll run the force by itself. It'll go up and down.
so mixed up. Get that keypad installed and programmed, and that's it. Right them up and on to the next one. Whew. Put one preset in here. Just a second screw on the inside right here. It's not too straight. <laughs> Man, that may have already... It's pretty snug. That's it. All right, guys, just finished up this little fresh install customer. We call it a third party op install. Just finished that up for the customer. 175, not bad. I definitely more uh, normally charge more than that, especially for a fresh install, but it's okay, man. The customer was shopping around and I knew that, so we threw him a discount. He bit that bone and gained another customer, left a sticker and a uh, business card with him. You know, these customers may end up telling somebody, so. That's what it's all about. Sometimes it is about the grind and just acquiring customers because I have definitely, most certainly, had many previous customers give you know my information to someone else and they called me. Like that consistently happens. So once you get rolling, it's not always about making the big bucks. It's about doing people right and gaining those customers. So Jesse Dapper Dudes slammed another one home, headed to another one. You guys stay tuned. I appreciate you. Like, comment, subscribe, share. You know the deal, guys. Thank you so much. We'll see you the next one.